Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boers, welcome to Mike Boers channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're talking Samsung dryers and we're gonna show you the step-by-step -step process on how to replace your thermistor. Let's take a look. So let's go ahead and get this fixed. Step one, safety first, always cut all electrical power to your dryer. Go ahead and unplug your power cord. And from here on the back side, if yours is like ours, you have two Phillips screws. Go ahead and remove those you're gonna be able to shift this whole cover plate off. The screws themselves are pretty short. Go ahead and set those aside. And from here, you can carefully shift your cover plate back and carefully remove this and set it in a safe location. Next, you have these plastic tabs that go into their connection points. Again, they're plastic. Do not break them, just carefully pop them out of their connection points. Down in there, you have an additional tab right there, and there is a tab on each side. The trick with those is carefully shift up on this panel, again carefully because you're working with plastic, and with one hand on each side shifting this panel up, you can remove those tabs from the slots and rotate this panel outward toward you. And as you pull this panel back, some of you may run into what I ran into, and right down here you have plastic tabs that go into these cutouts here. There's two of them here and here. And as you try to remove this panel, it will get stuck on those, so what I do is I got this long little teeny rod. You can use whatever you want to. However, I insert it in here and got underneath that tab and carefully applied just a little bit of pressure to release it from the cutouts there. From here, we are going to carefully remove these connection points. In this case, you push down on this and remove that, and you'll do the same for here. From here, we can set the control panel in a safe location. With your panel removed, open up your dryer door and you've got Phillips screws, one, two, three, and four. Go ahead and remove those. From here, go ahead and close your door, and four additional Phillips screws on the top. Go ahead and remove all four screws. After removing those four screws, you have pressure tabs here that hold your panel in place. Just go ahead and compress those, and it will release this, and you'll have one on each side. And I recommend holding this panel with both hands as you do this. After releasing those pressure tabs on the back side, be very careful you have an electrical connection point. Go ahead and carefully remove that. And from here, you can pull up on the panel and remove it. And down at the bottom, you do have little slots that it goes into. And again, just carefully set it aside. All right, real quick, the bottom right-hand corner of your dryer after removing that panel, you can see your coil pack, your igniter, etc. Your actual thermostat is behind this fan ducting here. And in the event that you can reach into this portion here and gain access to the electrical connection point as well as the Phillips screw that secures the thermistor to this ducting, your project may be a little easier than others. However, in the event that you cannot gain access to that thermistor, we are going to continue taking everything apart to show you what exactly it looks like and where exactly it's located. Come down below, you've got three screws. Again, fill it, and we want to remove this part. After removing those screws, you will shift this portion down until you remove it. Direct your attention to this connection point here. Carefully push down on that tab there, and as you push down, shift the two connection points apart. Back up top, and what we want to do is remove this entire upper mount here. And we've got a Phillips screw here, here, there, upper right hand corner, and lower right hand corner. Pull your panel up and out. Be very careful. On the back side, you have wiring in these little tie straps. And these are very user friendly. All you have to do is undo these little plastic tabs there and pull the wiring out. I set the panel aside and you still have an additional wiring connection here. You can loosen that up and you just want to get this untangled and out of the way. Just shift it up here where it's not going to get harmed at all throughout the remaining portion of the project. Next, coming down below, YouTubers, this is probably the most tricky portion, and you have your idler pulley way back there. As you can see, that white circle or roller, and you've got your belt, and you've got to reach in there, and you'll notice a spring right there. You will push that pulley away from you, which will ultimately put more tension on the spring, and you can carefully remove the belt from the idler pulley. And I recommend prior to doing that, take as many photos as 
you can so you know exactly how the belt will go back on. There is a motor down below that it loops around as well as that upper idler pulley. Back up top, you've got four mounting screws that hold this entire portion in place. Two on each side, going to remove those. And to remove those screws, you have these little tabs here that actually, as you lift this portion up, you can remove it from its little slot. And be very careful. Grab this with both hands so you don't drop it. And the way this works, YouTubers, you have rollers on the back side. And this is the portion I just pulled off. This actual drum rests on those rollers. So as you pull this part away from your dryer, your drum will actually fall just slightly. Back up top and same thing, you've got rollers on the backhand side and I'm going to put my entire arm in here, lift up and carefully pull this entire drum out of the dryer. And be very careful, don't allow that belt to catch on anything. At this point DIYers, check that out. We have unlimited access to basically every part inside your dryer. Come to the back side of your blower housing. Here's your blower motor and on the left hand side, you've got two connection points. The left hand side, shaped like that, that is your thermistor. Carefully remove the connection point. And on the bottom hand side, you've got a Phillips screw. Go ahead and remove that. After removing that screw, carefully shift the thermistor out. Let's go grab the new one. New parts in hand. Let's go and open it. New parts a lot cleaner than the old part. I noticed the 61S was on the top portion when we shifted this into place. Shift it right in that little slot and secure the thermistor with that Phillips screw. From here, re-secure the electrical connection and verify everything is secured and we'll reverse the steps. Let's go grab the drum. With the belt on, we'll lift this drum up, reinsert it and rest it on those rollers. Drum is now back in place and I just want to show you what the belt is supposed to look like with the idler pulley. You can't see the lower pulley that's on the motor. However, it loops around that and that's what it's supposed to look like. Hopefully this may be a better view of it. However, again, just make sure you take pictures and know exactly how this belt goes back on. After securing the belt, come up top and give it one full rotation or revolution. Make sure that belt is in this groove here. After that, grab your panel and we will insert those rollers on the bottom portion. And as we do this, we will carefully lift up on the drum to properly set those rollers in place. And again, as you do this, just carefully lift up on the drum to allow those rollers to get underneath it and realign your tabs that are on your mounting bracket and they go into the respective slot. And from here, grab all four screws and secure them. After securing those four screws, direct your attention to your wiring and re-secure them in those little twist straps there. And remember what this goes to. This goes to your actual front panel. So this will actually droop through this little indent here and hang that carefully there. And these will feed through the upper mount. Mount is re-secured, five screws, one, two, three, four and five. Electrical wiring comes out here and there's that. From here, let's go down below, grab the cover to our ducting and re-secure that. Go ahead and secure it with your three screws. And next, secure your connection point for your moisture sensor. Time to put on the front panel and you've got cutouts down at the bottom and they will rest over these little tabs here. And as you shift this in place, connect your electrical connection. Carefully shift this in place and push the connection in until you hear the clicking sound. Realign the top portion until it goes into the pressure tabs. Next, go ahead and resecure your four upper Phillips screws. Open the door and you've got four additional screws. And if yours is like ours, the lower two screws had washers on them. From here, we're going to go grab the control panel. With the control panel back in place, go ahead and resecure the right hand connection points. And just be patient as you realign your control panel. Make sure all of your connection tabs are properly in place and secure. From here, we'll go grab the top. After reapplying your top panel, go ahead and re-secure the rear Phillips screws. Go ahead and plug in your dryer, and we've got a load ready to go. We're going to turn it on. We'll pause that, and we'll end by saying, hopefully this helps. Do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.